cinnamon chocolate brownies. And then they're going to have a ganache topping. They are really delicious. We're going to start off with 12 tablespoons of butter in a double boiler. It's just a simmering pot of water with a bowl on top and some butter in it. So 12 tablespoons, one and one half sticks. And then four ounces of good dark chocolate, not semi-sweet chocolate, dark. Add that to that. And now we're going to wait until it melts. So that'll take ah, two or three minutes. Chocolate's almost completely melted. At this point, you can remove it. Just whisk it around till you get nice and smooth. You don't want any lumps in this. Mmm. Okay, now there's our chocolate. Set that aside. And I'm going to get my mixer out and finish the rest of the brownie recipe. Now we're going to proceed to put the mixture together for the rest of the chocolate brownies. I have an 8 inch square uh, pan which I lined in parchment and then I dusted, I buttered it and then I dusted it with cocoa powder. If you don't want to use the parchment you can leave it out. Uh, I like it because I can take out the brownies a lot easier. Um, I've got a third, uh, excuse me, a half a cup of flour, quarter teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon which I'm going to put together. That's a lot of cinnamon and these brownies definitely taste of cinnamon. Okay. Then I have one cup of sugar, four large eggs. I'm going to use one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, one cup of chopped uh, walnuts, and all of our chocolate mixture that we melted. So I'm going to start with the four eggs and get those moving around, broken up. I'm going to slowly add the sugar. Ooh, sugar dust. And now the vanilla. So one and a half. Now we're going to add in the flour. Get that nicely mixed up. We don't need to really mix it a lot, just to incorporate it all. Get rid of all those dry bits. Hit the side of the mixer because the flour goes up on the side and this knocks it down. it all around, make sure it's all in there. And now our chocolate. I'm going to show you how to decorate these too when they're done. So they're not just ordinary brownies and they'll have, these are definitely a party kind of a, an item. So we'll mix that up. Chocolate off. I think I'm wearing more chocolate too. Then the nuts. Stir those in. And then into our pan and into our 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then when they come out, you want them to cool in the pan. To room temperature before you start putting on the ganache but that's another story we'll start on that afterwards Put a little tap get out the air bubbles and off to the oven it goes our chocolate cinnamon brownies are out of the oven and they're slightly cooled they're room temperature now 
And um, you can see I put some clips on the, uh, to hold down the parchment paper. That's a Martha Stewart trick that I learned. It's actually really good. It works well because sometimes the parchment paper, after it gets uh, out of the oven, it tends to want to fold over the brownies. And I need the brownies exposed so I can put the, the uh, topping on it. In a pot, I've got three tablespoons of butter. I've got two tablespoons of heavy cream. This is just a version of ganache and six ounces of chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, uh, a good one. Uh, actually, this is not semi-sweet, it's a darker chocolate. So it's, it's not quite as sweet. So just wait until this melts, and then we're gonna pour it on the brownies. Almost. All right, our chocolate and our butter and our cream are all melted. Just giving it a little last whisk around to make sure it's nice and smooth. Now we're gonna pour it on top of the brownies. it around and now what I'm going to do is this is going to go in the refrigerator and it's going to have to sit there until it sets. That will be approximately one to two hours and then they'll be nice and set and we can cut them and decorate them and eat them. So there we go. Into the fridge they'll go. Our cinnamon chocolate brownies have been in the refrigerator now for about two hours and they look pretty set. I'm going to remove these clips that we don't need anymore. And then take the brownies out if I can. They might be stuck on the edges. There we go. Okay. Move that out of the way. Peel off that parchment paper and get it all off. Get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to cut them in half. And then I'm going to cut them in half again. And I told you that there's so many ways that, or so many things you can do with brownies to dress them up. They're like a blank canvas, as far as I'm concerned. The ganache is not 100% set, but it's getting there. I thought for a party, uh, cutting them in triangles rather than in squares. So we could just make a nice little triangle like that. And what I also did is I took some time yesterday and I candied some Walnuts. You don't have to do this, but I thought if it was going to be a party, it would be kind of really cool to put a candied walnut on top. And then you could put them in a little paper like that. And you have like a whole tray of these. That's a pretty attractive dessert. And all it is is a brownie with ganache and walnuts. So why don't you try this? This is a delicious brownie, very, very rich but very, very good.